So we never specified rules about bonus videos or anything like that. But I will be keeping mine under six, five minutes. Oh, nearly made the mistake you did. So the next day, after my wild hippie campfire experience, um, I woke up to find everyone who attended the convergence outside of my tent. I think they were converging, which would make sense, as it was a convergence, and you can't have a convergence without some converging. It was open mic night that night. Jeez, open mic night. Everyone got to have a go. I've never heard so many songs about recycling. Did you know there is a subgenre of music all about recycling? I didn't. I It was a lot for me to take in and um, I'm not sure I will be rushing to download the MP3s. They all had very good messages, but it did seem a bit Sesame Street, you know, to write songs about recycling. Not that it didn't stop me from writing mine. Would you like to hear my recycling song? There's no such thing as waste If you use your paste Don't put that in the bin I can make a hat from that After that cacophony of music and poetry Some good, some good attempt I had another night of debauchery around a campfire So I found myself the next day, after dragging myself out of my cosy sleeping bag into the rain, going to a workshop on fermentation. It was really interesting, all about making probiotic foods, and I think next week I shall be trying my hand at making some sauerkraut. Mmm, rotten cabbage. Time for a nap in a hammock, I think. So now it's time for the last night. It was mega busy on that bar, absolutely rammed. I loved it. It was the first time I looked like I was doing any work. So it was definitely busy. We had some great acts on. My favorite was Bez. Bez from the Happy Mondays, he was DJing. Well, he wasn't DJing, his son was DJing. He was dancing on stage and everyone got to dance on stage with him. Take a look at this. <laughs> I was buzzing after that night. Bez was playing, booze was pouring, people were buying me drinks. It was fantastic. I ended up 
around another campfire having more debauchery. I had too much alcohol, which meant that I couldn't make a wise decision as to when to stop drinking that alcohol. So I carried on drinking alcohol, which is bad because the next day I had to lift crap and dismantle bars and bring down tents and I just wasn't thinking. Anyway, I thought I could sneak back into my tent as I hadn't got much sleep, get a couple of hours kit and then get to work. Unfortunately, I bumped into all the other members of the crew before I got to do that. So I had to go and help. So I helped as best as I can, but I was so tired and the rain, oh man, the rain. I didn't get any footage of this because I do not want to remember it, but it was like biblical type rain. It was like the earth didn't want us to stop having this convergence. But we had to stop, Earth. We had to stop. Some of us had to go home, okay? I was useless. I really tried. I really did. But I was so tired. I was hallucinating. I'm not even joking. When I was indoors, I was still seeing rain because I'd seen, saw so much rain that day. And when I was outdoors, around all the trees, I kept seeing fences and there were no fences around those trees. I was just tripping balls from being so tired. I've never encountered anything like that. And people kept talking to me as if I wasn't wired or tired or anything. They kept talking to me like I was normal. I wasn't normal. I was tired, man. Let me get some sleep. I was useless. I probably looked like the laziest person in the world. And people would be coming towards me with all this heavy gear and I would just be staring at them like this. And then I'd get, hey Megs, wanna give a hand? Yes, I want to. Can I? They're two different things. This was what our last meal as crew and volunteers looked like. Delicious. We even got some bacon. We had a group party at the end. I say party, it was more of a group kind of... <sighs> I was more useful the next day after a bit of sleep in a bed in some brick and mortar. Loved it. Anywho, the next day we were packing down some more because the, we couldn't pack down everything in a bloody storm. And it was over and I had to go back to normal life, whatever that is. But I loved it every minute and I would do it again and I would probably drink less. Probably. I decided I'm going to learn a lot more about permaculture, possibly do their course that they do um, and see where this adventure takes me. Anyway, I look forward to seeing your video. Love you, bye!